do question 34 take a minute and a half then come back and let's see what you get all right what did you get for it let's see the smallest of three consecutive positive integers is x the sum of these three integers is 57 which of the following equations expresses this information see what happened it says the smallest of three consecutive positive integers is x if you have three consecutive positive integers it's like you're saying what it's like you're saying one then two then three it could be two then three then four it could be four then five then six whatever it is but three consecutive positive integers you go up by one but how did you get the next number because remember you're going to need that it says the smallest one is x so you start with x what do you do with one to get two okay you add one one plus one what did you get do with two to get three you said two plus one to get three in the same way if you say two plus one you get three then when you get three you say three plus one then you get four in the same way you want to move from four to five you say four plus one it gives you five then you want to move to the next positive integer you say five plus one which is six so in this case the first one is x the next one would be x plus one good then the other one would be this x plus one plus one so it's x plus one plus one so these are the three integers so you have x then x plus one then x plus one plus one which is x plus two now it says the sum of these is 57 so you have x plus x plus one plus x plus 2 giving you 57 all right so that's what you have x first one plus x plus 1 the second one plus x plus 2 the third one give you 57 let's see which one of these match up with it all right if you take this one x plus x plus 1 oh you have x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 equals 57 a perfect match the answer is d